Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and today we will be checking out the most awesome new plugins for Adobe XD. And these plugins have been released a couple of days ago or maybe over the last month and these are really powerful, uh, really amazing and they improve your Adobe XD experience by a lot. And they bring in a lot of features that maybe Figma and Sketch have had for a while. So the, let's go ahead and check these awesome plugins out. Okay, so uh, thanks to the new plugin panel, we can check out all of these plugins at once. We don't have to call, you know open the plugins panel from here all the time. So uh, the first plugin that we will be looking at is Swapper. And Swapper is awesome because a lot of times we find ourselves creating two elements, one on top of the other, or one on the left and other on the right, and we want to switch their positions. So we have to manually uh, switch their positions, but there is now a cool plugin for that. So imagine we have an icon here, and uh, let's just change the color to this box, uh, to red, and let me place some text below this saying, uh, saying lorem ipsum, and um, you know, Often we place text below, say an image or an icon or a logo, whatever it might be. And we want to switch positions. We want lorem ipsum to be here. So what we do is select both of these, right? And on the left, as you can see, uh, uh, down here is Swapper. And Swapper is completely free. It's available in the uh, plugin store of Adobe XD. And if I click on Swapper, see how it immediately swaps positions. and. Uh, and if I press this again, it can do the same thing for me again. And uh, see how it dynamically shifts the Y axis here, uh, which is awesome. Let's quickly test out the left and right one as well. So if something's on the left and one thing's on the right, let's see if this works as well. Uh, yes, it does. So any direction two things have been placed, uh, it will swap. Okay, so the next plugin is also pretty cool and it's called Ready Components. And we often want to put in components, but we have to either install a UI kit or, you know, just draw everything out on our own. But this little, uh, you know, plugin friend of ours can actually put in uh, basic stuff like buttons and cards and text fields. So let's try this out if I click on button. And as you can see, nothing really appears because th there's a little uh, problem with this. Uh, you'll have to zoom out and as you can see, there's a little bunny here. So it doesn't place it exactly where you want it to be, but you know, if it places it somewhere, it's good enough for me. Um, so I can, you know, change the color of this. I can uh, edit the board, uh, border radius, everything. You know, it's just, it's just a little thing which will help you uh, fasten or speed up your design process. You can even place a card, card heading. Um, interesting card actually, it's pretty neatly designed. And toggle button or a footer, as you can see there's now a mobile footer basically. And header container, pretty good for me. List, see the pretty good amount of options and I think the developer will in improve it and make sure that it pla gets placed where we want it to be placed. Okay, so next plugin is very useful because it's, um, you know, in my day-to-day -day design process, I often create frames for elements like, say, buttons or uh, even text. And um, if I want to do that, I'll have to, you know, just pick up the pen tool or the rectangle tool or the, you know, ellipse tool and create that ellipse around it. But because of this Frame Maker plugin, it pretty much does that job all for me. So, for example, I place in a text which says, uh, "Hello World." right and I want this to have like a little frame around it right what I do is go to frame maker and click on frame maker uh, it'll ask me what is the uh, do I want an ellipse or a rectangle let's try the ellipse for this one and how what is the padding that I want so and you can even set you know probably there are some things you can't do for a ellipse like a padding on all sides so maybe for rectangle yes you can even select top right bottom and so I am pretty sure that there's a plugin for this in other softwares as well but this is very cool for Adobe XD and this is game changing so if I want a padding of say 20 pixels I'll say 20 pixels and I can even fill it with a color so it has um, you know 
different colors that default colors that it has and add solid colors to the assets panel to show them here so i don't have any colors in the assets panel so if i did i would have all of them right here so i'll just choose this gray and say make frame and voila that that is a pretty amazing to be honest it's very helpful for uh, designers who are designing at scale as well because it allows me to you know um design very uh, different kinds of buttons and components without losing out on uh, my measurements or the pixel values that, that's pretty cool man i don't have to do anything manually now god bless <laughs> the next plugin we're going to talk about is reorient path I'll, I'll quickly show you what it does i mean it's, it's pretty self-explanatory but okay so uh this next plugin is called reorient path and it's pretty cool uh, now I have a just a basic, uh, you know, I, I've used the pen tool to create a really basic kind of a path right here. And uh, as you can see, this is now 69 degrees rotated. Uh, and if I want this to be zero degrees rotated, I can, you know, make sure that to make sure that this is the actual path and it's not rotated. I can go to reorient path and click on this. And as you can see now, this is zero degrees. I didn't rotate the actual plug, uh, the object or the actual path, but uh, it, it just reoriented it for me and it's now created just a basic element right here. I can go ahead and rotate it again and uh, it should do the same thing for me if I say reorient path. Again, zero degrees on the rotation. This allows me to uh, perfectly place everything and uh, not having the trouble to actually uh, you know make it zero degrees okay okay so the, this next one is pretty cool for those people who are trying to create you know create maps inside adobe xd it's very difficult i have to go to google maps and take a screenshot and then put it up on my uh, projects but with this maps generator i can just do that quickly without all that hassle so if i go to maps generator uh, i click on this and um you have options here right you have zoom levels i can say zoom levels um 16 so it really zooms in uh, so if i enter a place or address if i say india right that's where i'm from and uh, if i press enter as you can see it's just zoomed in randomly on india and it's placed it right here and you can see uh, it's more or less a screenshot it's basically an image but it's pretty cool. If I go again to Maps Generator, as you can see, I can do a lot of other stuff as well. So if I zoom out a little bit, maybe zoom level one, you know? So it shows India. And um, there are different zoom levels, as you can see, uh, you know, country level, state level. <laughs> it's all uh, put up in images right here. So I'll just say country level right here. And I can even select the kind of map I want. This is pretty cool, hybrid, satellite. Terrain. I'll just select satellite for this one and I can even uh, you know insert the JSON style so as you can see uh, so basically Google map properties are set based on certain JSON uh, uh, data and if you change that JSON data you can make changes and you can change colors and you know styles and highlights and stuff like that based on what Google uh, specifies and you, you can you know just put it here and you can just you know go ahead with it and learn more about styling see he's the developer has gone ahead and put the help text here that's pretty cool and include location pin i'll just remove this for now and i'll just say generate map and voila that, that's level two that and that's india <laughs> um the only little issue that i have here is google on the bottom left and imagery nasa terry metrics on the bottom right this is all google uh, you know doing this but that's fine because you can't really remove that google you have to acknowledge google's uh, power here so that's pretty cool and you can you know if you want to remove google you can go ahead and do that you know now there's no google for us here so that's pretty cool for especially for people who are designing maybe a maps application or a location tracking application this is pretty cool you can just randomly generate a customized maps okay so this next plugin is for my uh you know for the people who want to you know just make different paragraphs from a one paragraph of text so if i place some text here if i if i say lorem let me just place some lorem ipsum text i have a plugin for that as well so again um if i go to lorem ipsum i think i should have a 
Okay, so I have a quick plugin for Lorem Ipsum as well, as you can see here, and I'll just fill it with placeholder text. Yeah, 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 I've read the, <laughs> I've read everything, insert text, yes. So as you can see, now this is a paragraph of text, and what if I want each paragraph, each line, or each even word to be a separate uh, text, and that can really help you with, if you're trying to animate different uh, text and you don't want to create different text boxes every time so there's a cool plugin for this as well you know there's so many new plugins i love it split text and if you haven't heard about it go ahead and try it out split text by new lines uh, split text by commas and split text by tabs so for example i there are a couple of commas here as you can see after a a letter i don't know what that means um, so if i say split text by commas if I click on this, it should split text by commas. And as you can see, it's just, uh, com you know, see how it's removed each and every um, line after commas. <laughs> that, now this is pretty cool. This is pretty cool, to be honest. And it'll be cleaner if you just have, say, a text box. And this is pretty cool because you can even do it with new lines and tabs as well. So go ahead and try this out. Tell me how it works because I haven't experimented with this as much. Right. Okay, so this next one is for my folks out there who are trying to push their designs to developers, you know, just make them make the developers understand. And often we want developers to have ready code for certain ready components, right? And especially web developers, they want a proper SVG code for some elements and that'll just lighten the whole project. So if I create a rectangle here and I want this to be a fill of say red, right? Uh, red's not my favorite color by the way, so, but I'm still using it. Um, if I want this to, you know, be able to uh, have this on say a web page, so I'll just say copy SVG code from the left here. And uh, as you can see, it's copied the SVG. I'll just quickly go ahead and say command C or copy to copy this and say, I'll just say close. So next, uh, next, which is obviously the last one is um, alignment and this is pretty cool to be honest um, you can align anywhere on the document anywhere there's so many options this is slightly complex to understand at first but if I say vertical center it'll place vertical center if I want it to be uh, on the left it'll place on the left if I want it to be on the right it'll place on the right if at the bottom at the bottom at the top at the top <laughs> this is so cool the center uh, you know this is something that is not exactly you know as and you can even do it diagonally you know diagonally on the ref diagonally on the top that's pretty cool uh, just like that <laughs> and, and this is pretty awesome because you can select whether it has to be full height or full width and you can you know, choose from all these elements and even define your custom elements right here so this is pretty cool and i think you should get this if you're really looking out for good alignment options or just to help you out in your daily design process i hope you liked that video go ahead and comment down below which plugin today did you like the best and which one you're gonna use more often and uh, I post every Monday and Thursday very useful content. So go ahead and subscribe to my channel and like this video if you did. And I'll see you next time. God bless.